It's me again, Teacher Donna, and welcome to English Time! Today's English Time, we are going to read a new story. That's right, because today is Friday and Teacher Donna feels like reading a story. Well, do you like to read a story today? If yes, I think you are ready. And I am going to show you the book that we are going to use today. I have here the story of the town mouse and the country mouse. As you can see, there are two mice in the picture. There's one and two. The other one is living in the town or in the city and the other one lives far from the city and we call it country mouse. Are you feeling excited? I am very excited so what are we waiting for? Come, let's start reading now. I think let's start reading the story. By the way, Sun is sitting beside me. Sun, are you ready? Yes. Yes, very good. Let's open the book. The Town Mouse and the Country Mouse. So as you can see, this is Country Mouse and this is Town Mouse. So this is Country Mouse's home. One day, his friend Town Mouse comes to see him. Hello, Country Mouse, says Town Mouse. Hello, my friend, says Country Mouse. Hello, Country Mouse, says Town Mouse. Hello, my friend, says Country Mouse. There's a lot to eat, but Town Mouse thinks the food is strange. He doesn't like it very much, so he only eats a little bit. Oh, oh, it's it's very nice, but no, 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 no. Thank you. Please eat some more, says Country Mouse. Country Mouse gives Town Mouse his bed. You can have my bed tonight, he says. Thank you, says Town Mouse. But Country Mouse's bed is strange. Town Mouse doesn't like it very much. He can't go to sleep. It's very dark and quiet. In the morning, Town Mouse is tired. But Country Mouse isn't tired. Come on, he says. Let's go and get some food. So this is Town Mouse and this is Country Mouse. He is tired. He is not tired. The grass is long and wet. Town Mouse's feet and trousers are wet. He doesn't like the country very much. There's a cow in the field. Oh, oh, cries Town Mouse. What's that? It's only a cow. <laughs> Laughs Country Mouse. Do you like the country? Asks Country Mouse. It's very strange here. It's very interesting. It's different. But I think I like the town best. Life is good in the country, says Country Mouse. Yes, says Town Mouse. But I like the town better. It's nice and warm and dry in the town. It isn't dark at night and there's a lot to see. It's very interesting. And the food. Oh! There's a lot of food. Let's go there. Come with me and see. So, Town Mouse is asking Country Mouse to go with him to the town. Well, let's see what happens next. The next day, the two mice see a cart. It's going to town. Hurry up, you sheep, says the man. I want to go to the town. Listen! says Town Mouse. The cart's going to the town. Come on! Soon, Town Mouse is home. Ah, he says happily. It's good to be home again. But, Country Mouse thinks, What a lot of nice! What a lot of people! The house is very big. Country Mouse doesn't like it very much. Suddenly, there's a strange noise. Oh, what's that? 
that? He says. It's only the clock. <laughs> Laughs Town Mouse. Look, I live there. Let's go and eat. Come on, come on. There's a lot to eat. But Country Mouse thinks the food is strange. He doesn't like it very much. So he only eats a little bit. Please, have some more, says Town Mouse. It's very nice, says Country Mouse. But no, thank you. Town Mouse gives Country Mouse his bed. You can have my bed tonight, he says. Thank you, says Country Mouse. But Town Mouse's bed is strange. Country Mouse doesn't like it very much. He can't go to sleep. It isn't dark in the room and the street is very noisy. In the morning, Country Mouse is tired. But Town Mouse isn't tired. Come on, he says. Let's go and get some food. But there's a cat and they can't go out. At last, the cat goes away. The two mice are very hungry. Suddenly, Country Mouse sees something. Look! He shouts. Cheese! Stop! Shouts Town Mouse. Don't touch that. It's a trap. He says. So here's the cheese and this is the trap. Do you like the town? Asks Town Mouse. Mm, it's very strange here, says Country Mouse. It's interesting, it's different, but I think I like the country best. Life is good in the town, says Town Mouse. Yes, says Country Mouse, but I like the country better. It's nice and quiet in the country. I understand says Town Mouse. We like different things. The next day, they see a cart. And it's going to the country. Hurry up, you children, says the driver. I want to go to the country. Listen, says Country Mouse. That cart's going to the country. Goodbye, my friend. Thank you. Write to me, says Town Mouse. Soon, Country Mouse is home. He is in the country, and he sits by the fire. Ah, he says happily, it's good to be home again. <laughs> so that's it for today's story. As you can see, the town mouse and the country mouse like different things. What about you? What do you like the most? Do you like being in the countryside or do you like being in the town? Did you enjoy our story? Yes. Yes. All right. Again, that's it for today. And thank you so much for listening. And I hope you learned something from our story today. Goodbye, everyone. Bye. <laughs> Say bye-bye. Bye-bye. <laughs>